let us consider a body of mass m is attached to a string having a length r is rotated about a point o in a vertical circular motion against the gravity let the velocity at the bottom is equal to v1 here we would like to calculate velocity of the same body when it is having the circular motion in a anti clockwise direction at a particular point let that point is equal to p where it is making an angle theta with the initial position at that point velocity at any point is is in the tangential direction we would like to calculate the velocity so we can consider the two points a and b where at the point a velocity is v1 and at the point b velocity is v at the point p and between that two points we can apply law of conservation of energy to apply the law of conservation of energy we need to take any one point as a reference point let us consider the lower most point of the vertical circular motion as a reference point therefore at that reference point itself potential energy equal to zero so we can say total energy at the point a equal to total energy at the point b total energy at the point a is sum of potential energy as well as the kinetic energy at the point a whereas the total energy at the point b is also potential energy at the point b as well as the kinetic energy at the point b anyway being a itself is taken like a reference point potential energy at that point a equal to zero kinetic energy is half m v1 square where m is the mass of the body which is revolving in the vertical circle and v1 is the velocity at the bottom point when compared with the point a point b is definitely at a certain height that height is nothing but equal to some value h so it is having potential energy with reference to the basic point that is the point at the origin h and it will be obviously moving with some further velocity therefore it is also having the kinetic energy half m v p square but anyway in the problem this value of the h is not given we are supposed to calculate the value of the h in terms of the given data like the radius of that circular part as well as the angle we can see in the right angle triangle ocb there is a right angle triangle in the diagram ocb we can write in the right angle triangle ocb cos theta is equal to oc by r where r is the radius of that circular length of the wire therefore we can say oc is nothing but equal to r cos theta we can further say h is nothing but equal to ac which is nothing but equal to oa minus oc oa is nothing but the total length radius of the circular motion oa is nothing but equal to r cos theta that implies h equal to r of 1 minus cos theta substituting this values in equation number 1 we can further write half m v1 square equal to mg instead of h we can write r of 1 minus cos theta and a half m velocity at the point square we can cancel this mass because it is common from all the terms and we know the value of v1 
we know the value of theta therefore I can further uh, rewrite this equation as by multiplying with 2 v1 square equal to 2gr of 1 minus cos theta plus velocity at the point square therefore velocity at the point p is under the square root of v1 square minus 2gr of 1 minus cos theta so using this formula we can calculate the velocity at any point of the circular motion suppose if somebody say that the particle has gone to the horizontal position like this at the point q we can say at the point q angle theta with the vertical equal to 90 degree by substituting this in this uh, derivation that we have made we can calculate velocity at the point q is root of v1 square minus 2 gr of 1 minus cos 90 we know that cos 90 is equal to 0 therefore velocity at the point q is nothing but equal to root of v1 square minus 2 gr suppose we would like to calculate the velocity at the vertically top position say for example at this point q here we can write at that point q we have already called the, the point q let me call that point as a t velocity at the top at this point velocity will be like this we at the point q at this point velocity will be like this velocity at any point is always tangential to the path if you want the velocity at the point t again we can use the the derivation that we have made and we can write it as root of v1 square minus 2 gr of 1 minus cos 180 degree that is at angle 180 degree from the basic point then we can say further we can further simplify it as velocity at the top is root of v1 square minus 2 gr we know that cos 180 equal to minus 1 that minus of minus 1 become automatically plus 1 therefore velocity at the top will be v1 square minus 4 gr using this basic concept we can calculate the velocity at any point of the vertical circular motion